Hey everybody, it's Steve from Raw Fuel Motorsports. Today we're going to have a look at the carbides on this pre-production 2016 Ski-Doo MXZ 800. Now this machine comes with Pilot TS skis which are adjustable. Also comes stock with a 5 inch carbide. We're going to replace out the 5 inch carbide with a 7 inch carbide. Now we picked up this machine with some miles on it. So we did a quick once over check only to show that the carbide on one of the side of these skis was actually installed in reverse. So in swapping out this carbide, we're going to fix the issue that we noted. So let's get started on the install. So before we get started on this install, we're going to show what tools are required, as well as which way the carbide should face when it's installed properly on the ski. Tools for this install are simply a 15mm socket, as well as a 16mm box end wrench. We've marked the carbide itself to show the front, as well as the back of the carbide, and the shape of it. Now off to the install. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the main bolt which holds on the ski. And just be cognizant of where the washers are when you take this bolt out. The ski itself easily drops out. So now we're left with a carbide and a retaining pin. We remove the retaining pin, which allows the carbide to simply drop out. We take the new carbide, we ensure that the front is at the front and the back is at the back. So the higher of the two roll pins will be at the back side. We're simply going to put it in place, reinstall the retaining pin, ensuring that it's flush. and we're going to drop the ski right back into place. Now that we have the holes lined up, we insert the bolt, put the nut back on, and we tighten it up. And we repeat the process for the other side. Keep up to date with this MXZ or our other projects. Subscribe on our Skidoo banner. Follow us on Facebook. Or check us out at rawfuelmotorsports.com.